Welcome to our first ever Hack the Box CTF Challenge write-up video. In this video, we'll be walking through the Forensics Challenge, Marshall in the Middle. Let's get into it. The security team was alerted to suspicious network activity from a production web server. Can you determine if any data was stolen and what it was? Okay, so what you're gonna do with this one is download the challenge files and you're gonna get a zip file, you unzip it, you get this set of files right here. Now, you don't actually need to look at the bro logs if you don't want to. You can solve everything based off of the Wireshark file and the secrets.log file. So, that being said, let's go ahead and dive into the Wireshark file and see what we're working with. Okay, right off the bat, we see some HTTP with some weird get requests here but if we expand this you're going to notice that the destination port is actually 443 so while this is http it's actually https so make sure that when you're looking at wireshark and you see http that it is 80 because if it's not 80 it's 443 and that means it's encrypted so if we were to follow this http stream and you scroll down you'll notice that yes it's indeed all encrypted and this will be important for later on but what we're going to do is actually we're going to do statistics instead of protocol hierarchy like we usually do we're going to actually look at conversations and then we're going to go to tcp if you look in here you're going to notice that there's a strange set of packets where one of the ports is 53 under tcp well 53 is typically dns right and dns is usually udp now dns can be tcp but Normally, especially in CTF challenges, DNS is UDP. So it being TCP is kind of strange, isn't it? So that being said, why don't we just apply that as a filter? And doing so, we can see all the TCP packets that are being transferred to this port 53 in that conversation. So if we were to follow this TCP stream, there we go, a whole entire command transmission from Linux is being transferred across the wire. And if we look here, we can see that there's curl requests being sent out. And it looks like there's being sent as post requests. So let's minimize that. And let's actually take a look at maybe some packets that have post request data in them. So we can do that by doing HTTP.request.method equals post. And we'll get all those HTTP packets that were encrypted before, right? So how can we decrypt these packets? Well, if you remember, we were given this secrets.log file. And if we take a look at it, we actually have a bunch of keys in here. And these keys or secrets rather can be used to decode HTTPS traffic or TLS traffic or SSL, however you want to do it. So. What we're going to do is we're actually going to go to edit preferences and we're going to do drop down on the protocols and we're going to scroll down till we find TLS because you know that's what HTTP is encrypted in when it's HTTPS and we're going to upload a master secret log file which will be our secrets.log then we're going to click OK. So if you saw those HTTP requests before that were all garbled we can now make those out okay so now what happens if we send a post now we're actually seeing these post requests that we saw before in our communications here now these packets up here didn't get decoded but i have a feeling that these are the same packets as these essentially just decoded so let's go ahead and take a look at the last one and i guess it doesn't really matter which one we follow but we'll let's just follow http stream and if we scroll down, we'll actually find the flag in these leaked credit card numbers. HTB, this is a Fender Rhodes moment is our flag for this challenge. So we'll copy that and we'll go to our challenge prompt, submit the flag right here. Let's go ahead and give it a 10 rating because I love forensics and this was a good forensics challenge. So let's submit the flag. And there we go. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to If you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed. Check out our Patreon, join our Discord, and follow us on Twitter. Links in the description box down below.
and leave any feedback or questions in the comment section down below. This is All in Note. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.